thing. Um, this is a piece written by um, Jerome, Jerome Kerr, yeah? Okay. Well, that's always a good thing when there's a Jerome Kerr song. This is called Up With The Lark. And it's originally, um, I recorded it with Bill Evans. I think it's from an album live in Tokyo, if I'm not mistaken. I just made it up. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's true. No, I think it is true this time. So, uh, is everybody here uh, that's here, here? Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. 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 well, I'm glad to hear
Thank you.
song by um, not Roy Rogers. Rogers and is it Hammerstein? Hammerstein. Rogers and Hammerstein wrote a lot of very nice, beautiful melodies. Uh, and I think this is one of them. With a song in my heart. In this case, in our heart.
playing some original music, so I'm looking for the, uh, the original part to the original music. Let's see. Are they able to uh, deliver drinks to where you guys are sitting? Yeah. Really? Wow. I should be so lucky. <laughs> going to play now. <laughs> but um, soon. But it's always good to be prepared. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
for, want to thank all of you for uh, uh, being here, coming uh -huh. around. I wish I had a talk mic. Because then, then I would sing. There's no talk mic in lobbies. Lobbies don't generally have talk mics, do they? No, they do. They do? No, they yes, they, they do. They don't? Of course they do. They don't, they do? If you want to express something, express its opposite. What's nice is you guys can drink all you want. Really, drink all you want, then you go check in and get a room upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that always works pretty good. Uh, all right. We're going to play uh, another one. Be uh, actually an original composition of Marx. He has uh, quite a few original compositions. So we're going to play one of his tunes. But I do want to seriously thank you again for coming out and uh, sharing this time with us. Um, this is a, an unusual spot, to be sure. Uh, but it's, uh, it's very nice. And I, I think with, if we, uh, if, um, yeah, I think if we, um, if we did this often enough, Mark and I were, you actually can get used to this. <laughs> this kind of group. Is there a draft here? A draft beer? It's something, I just wanted to say a few words. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to play with Eddie, a, a vast influence on me, even though I look young, I'm not quite <laughs> But one thing I wanted to say is that we are here post-pandemic. I mean, if you call it post-pandemic, after the big wave. For us, this is very special, not only the reuniting, but also to be alive, everybody here, and to resume playing again. So, we say thank you. Thank you. I want to, uh, I want to thank uh, and congratulate uh, Barry Colstein, who has opened this beautiful shop at the other end of this hall here, on the uh, 58th Street side. If whether you uh, play violin or any instrument of the violin family um, or not, uh, I think you just love to go and look through there. It's a beautiful space with beautiful instruments. Uh, this is one of them, actually. This space is This is an old Italian instrument. Um, it was, um, it was, uh, I forget the maker's name, uh, but it belonged to Percy Heath, great bass player. From, uh, yes. This, uh, this bass is Percy Heath's bass, and uh, Barry has now in, has it in his shop, along with other beautiful um, gems, jewels of uh, not only basses, but he's got violin cello. Uh, cellos and, and violins, I guess violas too, right, Barry? Yeah. Barry, right, he's got all of the string family. Uh, but you don't have, um, you don't have any mandolins, right? No. <laughs> but you know, I once played, I once played a mando bass. The other day I was looking through YouTube and um, I saw, uh, they were playing some Vivaldi piece, I think, with all mandolin, all mandolins. And there was a mando bass, which actually I played once a long time ago. A friend of mine had one. And it's, it's a mandolin, um, and it's got that round kind of, um, it's not an F hole, like these are all F hole about for obvious reasons, like in the violin family. Uh, and I played a, a mandolin bass, a bass mando, mando bass. So they come in all from different families, but uh, Barry's shop has all the violin family. And uh, some of them are sort of are also violon, which is the more older, before violin family, violon. Uh, so I think even whether you're in there as, a, as an instrumentalist or not, I think you'd be uh, interested in, uh, in looking through the shop. It's really, it's almost like a museum. He also had carries ties, right, don't you? 
He's got manners. This is not one of them. He's got manners. <laughs> T-shirts is not one of his times. But he has other ones that are very cute. And he also has... Barry, do you still do you sell socks yet? I have some socks here that are like with instruments on them. Violins and saxophones. But I don't sell these either. Um, anyway, you should go into Barry's shop. It's right down the hall. And if uh, you don't already, already have a mortgage on something, you could buy an instrument. <laughs> They're gorgeous instruments. They're worth every penny. Uh, okay. We're going to play a, a song as promised. It's written by Mark Kramer who was with BMI. That's what it says right there. Uh, and this is from... Uh, it's a gastroid test so. <laughs> BMI, right? <laughs> you, you would know. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> Until now. No uh, did we record this on, on that CD? What's that called, that CD? Uh, X, uh, it's called... It's called... It's called, it's called, it's called it's so oh, oh, it's... <laughs> Called Troubled Times. That's what they wow. Yeah, yeah. So this piece is called Troubled Times, and it's from the CD Troubled Times, and you couldn't think of the name of the CD. <laughs> because I am now 87 years old. You're not 87. <laughs> but you act like it, but that's okay. Reversed or not. Troubled Times. And someone yelled out, Fiddler on the Roof. Actually, you know, if, if we were really enterprising, <laughs> we, you know, you get a bunch of the CDs to Barry in the shop. Mark, I'm over here. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we would get more <laughs> Yandy, baby. And you could sell, um, you know, we did a now they're called Fiddler on the Roof, our jazz version, right? And yeah, it was, it was really, it was it, quite it came, I'm very proud of that. Right? Me too. And um, also, um, the uh, the writer of uh, Jerry Bach. Jerry Bach loved it and wrote us a beautiful letter. And he, and, yeah, and, he, um, and he and he invited us. Was he, he invited us to go see Fiddler on the Roof. That's right. He, his letter said he was. We did it because well, for a lot of reasons, but we did this CD and the the creator, the music, sends a letter that he left it the letter for a while and then he opened it and had tears of gratitude. The next thing we know is he every show we did in New York. Two years and invited us to the theater. Jerry Buck, he wrote uh, he's, he's, the Roof. Yeah, he's and he wrote some other thing, of course. Lost. He's Fiorello. Fiorello, he wrote. And, and you want to really tax my memory now. Well, it isn't difficult. Well, it's not <laughs> wonderful, uh, not wonderful. Something was wonderful. All right. That's close yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, there's a Fiddler on the Roof. really be good if you, you know, got these uh, CDs over to, to Barry so he could sell them at, his, at the shop. If he wants. Oh, he, he wants, trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's kind of yeah. So now, now we're kind of sure. So we're just going to play like the, the, the melody and out. No. <laughs> so this is called Troubled Times by Mark Kramer. Again, we thank you all for coming and showing up into uh, this um, wonderful lobby. <laughs> One, two, three, four.